The next aspect of rotator maintenance that we'll discuss today is to replace the lower bearing assembly. The lower bearing assembly is a common replacement item due to mechanical wear and also due to exposure to corrosive vapors from the cell solution. So with the motor fully disconnected, we're going to lower this so that I can invert this and work on it a little bit lower to see what I'm doing. So simply loosen, slide off the motor unit, invert it, and then carefully slide down. Dr. Redux, could you, could you, thank you. Slide this unit down here, and I'm gonna place my hand here so that the unit stops in my hand, so I have the perfect set height here. And move our collar up to keep it in place. Perfect. Now that the motor is inverted and a little bit easier to access the lower bearing assembly, use a flathead screwdriver to loosen the four screws on the bottom of the bearing assembly. Once these are loosened with a screwdriver, the lower bearing assembly will be removed from the base of the motor. You may need to use some back and forth gentle motion to release the lower bearing assembly. So you're going to replace the lower bearing assembly with a new one that you've purchased. Like the brushes, once you've replaced this, the old one should be discarded. So obtain a new bearing assembly. So I like to come in and get a top-down view and carefully align the holes and threads and then apply some pressure, a little bit of back and forth pressure, to get the bearing assembly flush with the bottom. Now all that's left to do is replace the four screws. So following tightening of all four screws, you have now successfully replaced the lower bearing assembly. That concludes this video on some common aspects of maintenance that you can perform. If you have any additional questions, please contact Pine at the information provided.